One of the most common questions that you guys ask me about by far is about the concept of asymptomatic COVID infection. And for good reason, you ask me, you say, what does it mean to be asymptomatic? And can you spread COVID if you're asymptomatic? And how long do you remain asymptomatic? And all of those good questions. So we're gonna talk about asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic COVID. I'm gonna tell you what that one's about if you've never heard of it. Um, but we're also gonna talk about how that relates to a recent CDC announcement about COVID transmission in these folks who are asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic. So let's start by level setting. Let's get our ducks in a row and let's talk about what asymptomatic means right off the get-go, okay? So asymptomatic for COVID means you've been infected with COVID, you have the infection, but you don't have symptoms and you never go on to get symptoms. You are asymptomatic. Okay, no symptoms. Pre-symptomatic, and this is something you guys may or may not have ever heard of, is someone who's infected with COVID, but just has not gotten symptoms yet. That means they start out, they don't have symptoms, and then they develop symptoms later on. Remember, in both asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic folks, they both have COVID. They just don't have symptoms ever for the asymptomatic folks. And in the pre-symptomatic folks, they take a little time to develop their symptoms. They don't have symptoms at first, okay? What's really important about these two groups of folks is that the CDC is suggesting, and we've thought this for a while, that they may make up a large portion of COVID transmission. And remember, if you don't have symptoms of COVID, unless you have like a known exposure that you're worried about, whatever, you may not ever even think that you might have COVID, right? Because once one of the things that tells us that we may be sick with COVID or anything else, right? Symptoms. So if you don't have symptoms, you may not even be thinking you have COVID, which is one of the reasons why this may be such a large part of spread. So let me get to that point. So the spread part is what the CDC just released information about a couple of days ago. Um, the CDC says that asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic folks may make up over 50% of COVID transmission. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of people. That is people walking around that don't have symptoms that may have no idea that they have COVID because they have no symptoms that potentially are spreading it, perhaps over 50% of the time, which by the way, guys, that's a big deal. It's actually one of the reasons why we recommend mask wearing now, right? One of the reasons why we recommend wearing masks is to protect you and other people in case you or they have COVID and you don't know it. Okay. And remember, masks don't just protect other people from you. It actually helps protect you from other people as well. So it's kind of a win-win there, I must say. So remember to keep wearing those masks because again, we think a lot of spread that's happening in the community is from people who don't even know they have COVID. And if they don't know they have COVID, how can they properly protect themselves from other people, from you, from your family? Which is why masks are important because if masks are in place, it will help with some of that protection, even if they don't know that they have COVID because they don't have symptoms. Anyway, guys, I hope this is helpful. Keep wearing your masks and social distancing and all that good stuff. Guys, please share this video with other people. I do hope it was helpful. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. If you have not liked and subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. Please click the little bell to get updates. Um, and uh, guys, I do daily health videos. So um, I will see you soon.